Hello Mac Warriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online, where we are playing the Stormcrow today. I wanted to play something that is fast, that is mobile, that can get into the flanks of the enemies, even behind them, and uh, shoot some missiles at our foes. And I also wanted to play something that can be engaged at any point of the game, as long as there are locks. And therefore, we are taking some LRMs today. We are taking long-range missiles, which I like to play, not as long-range missiles, but as medium-range missiles, basically, uh, with the option of having a longer range in the early game. So let me quickly talk about what we are doing here. We have three LRM-15, which bring us uh, a good range of about 900 meters. However, the closer you are, the less time your enemies have to actually react to the missile warning. So therefore, you should really try to get into that like 180 to 300 meters sweet spot where you can shoot your missiles without the enemies being able to just be get back to cover and uh, dodge your missiles. Because if you just sit back and click that one button uh, at, uh, let's say, a thousand meters range, your enemies will get to cover while the missiles are slowly traveling over the map. Therefore, again, a fast mag that can get into the spot that it needs to be and then shoot the missiles and then get back to cover if needed. We also got 10 ER micro lasers for point blank defense in case we need it. So that, um, yeah, each laser deals 2.4 damage, which is great. You know, that's uh, 24 damage. That's respectable when somebody is kind of pushing you beneath 180 meters here. You can see in the diagram down there, if the enemies are at like point blank, like zero meters does range you basically deal no damage and therefore try to stay you know at about 180 meters our ear micros are actually at that range it's a 160 meters um optimal range so those are pretty good in case you are getting pushed and need to defend yourself little side note by the way um i have one more ton of ammo in the second game than in the first game in the first game i had one more double heat sink and then uh, i realized i could need a bit more ammunition and then for the second game you can see my my ammo count is a bit higher because i gonna you know i swapped one heat sink for another ton of ammo other than that, we have a clan active probe to counter ECM, so we actually get our lock-ons if somebody is, you know, close to us and is trying to scramble our sensors, that thing counters it. And we have a tag for faster lock-ons, so we can do some nice peak shenanigans and we can get the damage out faster. That mech is designed for early game shredding and then mid-game destruction. And that's what we're going to be doing today. In terms of skills, let me go over here. I was going for a lot of firepower here because I really wanted to fire as often as possible, as fast as possible. And again, uh, kind of fulfill my role as an um, yeah, early game shredder, like, like an early game armor remover. And therefore, I'm going to get a lot of cooldown, going to get a lot of range and a good chunk of heat gen on top of the green notes here. The yellow notes are unlocked, but they are not active right now. So I don't need them for the micro laser. Definitely, definitely not. But high explosive, missile spread, and of course missile wreck are super crucial for that missile heavy build here. As you can see, we also got some um, armor hardening, left side of the survivability tree. That thing is... Um Rather squishy when it comes to the hitboxes. Stormcrows are rather big and the side trosses pop very easily. So getting those additional armor hardening points is actually quite helpful to just stay alive a little longer in case you are getting some stray shots or actually focus fire by somebody. On top of that, maximum cool run. Again, I want to be able to be constantly engaged as often as possible, uh, shooting those missiles and pumping that damage out because it is, it's rather random and we need a lot of damage to actually get a kill. And therefore... The more you shoot, the better it is. We also got rated deprivation, 60% to kind of counter enemy locks. And we have target decay to counter enemies who are trying to get into cover. Because with target decay, we maintain our locks even a little bit longer after they have gotten into cover. And that means our missiles can still trace our targets and hopefully hit them while they try to break line of sight. We also got a UAV plus double cool shot, although... I've kind of figured out, you just don't need that. You can take those points out. You have one UAV, one cool shot, and put them into something else. Either more sensor range. Uh, actually, this would be good. Mm, and then more target decay, something like that. And then maybe even more sensor range and more target decay. Uh, take out another point of heat containment. I think you can play it like that after being um, on the battlefield uh, with a bunch of games. This would be probably an optimized version of it. But, you know, this is what you will see in the games here. And yeah, that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And now it's time to hit the battlefield.
All right, first game of the day. We are playing the Forest Colony. All right, Forest Colony is gonna be really tough because getting sustained locks here is nearly impossible unless we get into a nice firing line position, which I I don't know. I, I, I don't believe in it. But anyway, um, you know, we will see what we can do here. Always, always positive. Always trying to uh, stay in good mood to see uh, what the game brings to us and how the game unfolds. I mean, if I say, yeah, screw this map, it's not gonna work, then I won't have fun. So let's try to squeeze the most fun out of this mission here let's go uh we have the small lasers here actually the micro lasers there are no smalls and uh, we're gonna stay a little bit behind all of uh, all of those guys here there is a all right there's a mad dog it's a thousand and two hundred meters away it's also running a lot of lrms and this timby is also bringing some oh that's two whoa that's a timby that's a that's a what is that uh you know the, the summoner here uh, actually let's go and doo -doo -doo -doo, shoot that dude i mean we have a 980 meters range uh, those guys are so far away, though. <laughs> Let's get a bit closer. 980. The Vapor Eagle is certainly hittable. Double PPC there. You can go triple on a Vapor Eagle if you want to. But okay. So it seems like we have a bunch of LRMs on our enemy's team as well. And our job, by the way, is to soften up our enemies until we get into a nice, uh, a nice firing line situation again where we can go for kind of point-blank shooting. Uh, not point-blank, you know, but... Close enough so that our enemies cannot really get away from this. There is a Corsair 7A, and that thing probably has a crazy amount of AMS. I don't know if we even hit anything here. Where did he go? Did he shut down? No, he just... Oh, there he is again. Hello. So, get some LRMs over to him. Nothing will happen. No, we need to really ball up on the LRMs. Are we just gonna ignore that guy? That's also a possibility. Um, Mad Dog, however. Sure. You know what? Bit of indirect fire early on. And then we're gonna um, move over to the right side because, as you can see, there is a fight about to unfold. And this is where I wanna be. Here we go, Cyclops. Hello, Cyclops. That's 400 meters. That's perfect. Again, no time to really get back to cover. Uh, he's pushing us, though. All right. Okay. Warning incoming missile. That's a thing that I don't like to hear or see. Where is my team? Where are our assault? Why is... What? What are you doing there? Come on, guys. We're getting pushed on the front. <laughs> uh, can we? Yeah, we can. Uh, come on, Tim B. Let's go. Let's do it together. The Cyclops is about to die. Um, and there we go. All right. So that was important. Just pushing towards that kill. He was just going all in because he didn't care about anything, seemingly. And I want to go for the Shadow Cat up there. Yup. You are not safe, buddy. I have you on a lock. And we're gonna help out. Especially, uh, the Shadow Cat there is a good target because it's rather squishy. And uh, now he's out again. Alright, cool. So, Marauder. We have him tagged. We have him in our line of sight. We're gonna go for him. And he is not really able to go anywhere right now. Or is he? I don't know. Swapping to the Shadow Cat again. Again, good target here. Oh, and we're getting pushed from the right once more. On the Kitty. Let's keep it going. Alright, no hits there. Uh, means that we're gonna switch to the other side. Jaguar is the... Ooh, that's, uh, that's crazy. Hello! That's everybody. Okay, okay, I understand. You don't want us here. But you know what? We got you cornered. You cannot really go anywhere. We have everybody here helping us out. And, um, these guys are desperately trying to make somewhat like a push. But every time we hit them, every single time, they are getting pushed back because of the massive firepower that we bring to the table. And with more of them dying, less of them have a chance to actually contest us. So, here we go. This is our counter push now. I'm gonna go for something big like the Corsair again. That's sad. Uh, that's the one that has to go. Somehow. Not in range for my direct weapons. Um, but maybe we can actually dry him out of his AMS? Let's see. Is that too cocky what I'm doing here? Just going on a flank like that? I want him down. Let's see. That Corsair has to go. Oh, he's eating up all of my missiles. All of them. Yeah, there, there it is. We got one AMS down. We actually got two AMSs down of him. That's super good. All right, and it's now time to just wrap it up, I think. We even got a kill, so that's nice. 230 missiles left. I think now it is time to actually go, like, super close. Try to get uh, into the fight at point blank. So we can also use the lasers, which we should bring to the point here. Hello. Okay, 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 okay. And it's eight and something. This is over. Absolutely over. Gonna use the cool shot here. We're gonna go for the Huntsman just with the lasers. I mean, they have a pretty good cadence. They have a pretty good rate of fire. And as you can see, we can take kills with that thing. So, 78 missiles are left. 
Um, and currently we are kind of um, in a rotation, but the good thing is we are fast enough to kind of go around this. Uh, go for my friend the Corsair once more. Get him in the back. And um, yeah, we're just gonna try to shoot him with the lasers. Can we actually kill this guy with micro lasers? We can. Here we go, 11 and 3. <laughs> this mech is so fun to play, guys. It is really cool. So, we got the early game potential. We have some late game with it. And in the mid game, it, it was glorious with uh, the fights at about 400 meters. That was real fun to play. We were actually running out of missiles here. But again, the micro lasers in the end were helping us out. That was a pretty fast and efficient round, I would say. We got three killing blows, though, seven assists, 600 damage done, with nine components destroyed. And I believe, wow, this dire wolf just wrecked people here. But overall, the damage output in general, actually, there is, there is some damage on the board. There was 600 here, there was 400 here, there was 600 there, 600 there. It was the champion, me and the Stormcrow. It was the uh, stalker and the blackjack interesting that was the first round let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down all right second game of the day we are playing the grimplexes and we are playing conquest which is actually quite good here we are actually quite fast which means we can get to the center of the map and we're going to contest theta here because i believe our enemies are trying to get that and we have the indirect firing capabilities to kind of wipe them out and prevent them from getting that center spot that is so important to winning the game unless you know we don't care about the caps and kill everybody that's kind of also a thing that we can do here now now, anyway, we're gonna set up in the Gulf 6 area, we're gonna try to get an early lock, so therefore high ground is very important. I'm not gonna go down to the ditch here, I'm gonna directly expose myself, because anybody that wants to get down there is now actually under fire by me. Except they have kind of like stealth armor or so. But it seems like they do not- what is that? Is that a tag? Are you- are you spam tagging there? Are you tag spamming? I don't know. Nobody is at Theta though. Hmm. And we only have one friend with us. Is it a good idea to contest that still? Because if they bring PPCs or something like that, we are actually in a, in a bad position. But we are here to overwatch, so let's go ahead and overwatch. Enemy cap and process, uh, progress even. Um, I don't want to get it myself, because I would be a sitting duck down there. Nope, no thank you, no thank you. But yeah, they are trying to get Kappa. They are not here at all. What is going on? Seriously, where is our enemy? There are some people. I can, I can see that guy. Oh, I hope he's not running any kind of super long range. He is uh, running some kind of super long range. Alright, so let's Gauss Rifles. I cannot contest Gauss Rifles, not at all. What we can try to do though, is we can uh, try to get to Epsilon, because if there's somebody here, we might be able to get those dudes. Nope. Big nope. We really need to get those capture points, but my mech is not really the, the mech to go for it. I mean, we need those light mags, the cicadas, the um, the other guys that are staying here with us. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's get that Stormcrow there. He is a rather short-range guy. Oh, they've seen me. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, you can easily follow the trail of missiles. That's the Gauss guy again. There's missiles coming. Oh boy, and I'm kind of alone here. That's not great. I mean, maybe we can split up the enemy team because of what we are doing here. It might be possible. 800 meters, easily doable. So let's drop some missiles on the Marauder. We can still see him. He's running ATMs. Okay. My missiles are better than him, than his missiles though, because I just have more of them. All right, so that's, that's okay. We got a kill already, and our enemies also got one kill in return. They're really aggressively pushing that. Hi, Mr. ECM guy, you're not that protected. I can see you! And we are in your back, buddy. You better go now, or you're getting shot down by missiles. Yeah, he realized now that he's tagged. He realizes that he is uh, under fire. And he's really trying to get out of this, but I don't know if he can. We got him! Nice! That's a nice, that's a very important kill there. This Nitri is not gonna do anything anymore. What are you? Large pulse and some MRMs. As long as we are staying uh, out of 600 meters of him, we can deal damage to him without him giving us any return fire. Alright, let's get the King Crab. Let's try to get into a position. I also want the high ground on the right side. Let's get the Mad Cat next. Mad Cat is about to die, so we're gonna try to stay on him. Definitely. Try to keep the angle. Get the missiles out. One more shot. Where's the Marauder, though? Okay, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. There we go. We got him. So, uh, it is okay if we take a bit of damage here. But I have the feeling that the Marauder is somewhere still, which uh, is a bit worrying. He's probably still around somewhere in this area. He has to. 
There was a Marauder too. Somewhere down here. There, there he is. Okay, we got him. It's a 2C. Yeah, sure. It was ATMs. It was not a 2. It was a 2C. Warning. Incoming missiles. Now it is time to actually help our team on the other side of the battlefield. Uh, let's go for Mr. Stormcrow. Stormcrow was hit by me already. So maybe we can strip some armor. Maybe we can deal some more damage. And this is the cool thing about this build here, guys. You can be engaged at any point of the game. As long as there's locks and as long as there's people to shoot. Alright, let's try to stay on the crow. Let's try to get some more damage in. But that is it. That's an LB10 Cyclops. Alright, we will definitely set him under pressure. Try to stay in the flank. Gotta make sure that the Marauder to see on the right side is not really going for me. It's 5 and 5. C Cyclops is killable. There he is, you know. God, the missiles on the board today. It's just crazy. Alright, let's, uh, yeah. Let's go for the Marauder. Aye. He is lagged. He cannot go anywhere. That's brilliant, actually. That's super good. We have him tagged. Alright, and we have him killed. Next up is the Crow. No, it is not. It is the Assassin, actually. Oh, an Assassin can kill me. We gotta take him down now. Right, right now. He's such a threat to me. Uh, and that's the Cyclops. The Cyclops actually shot me again. Let's go for it. Come over here, buddy. I got some lasers for you. Good shot. And... Ew, he didn't die. Should have twisted. Should have definitely twisted. Something in the game happened. I have no idea why, when, and what. But we were ahead, and then our enemies were just... Boom! Uh, by the way, this guy here, this Russian guy, always, always says that there is a cheater. Always. It's kind of his thing. <laughs> so don't get annoyed by him. It's just him. Oh, man. Oh, so, can we actually come back from that? All of our enemies are super, 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 super damaged. There we go. I mean, this Wolfhorn is still able to get things done. Uh, Stormcrow is killable. Get the Stormcrow! Copy. Oh, sorry. Was another Stormcrow. Oh. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, you can lag him and just get away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. That was a wrong announcement. Anyway, the game was over. They all got the caps and they were ahead so much by the kills here. It was a... It was a GG anyway. I mean, it was a cool thing to do here. We were trying to get into the flank. We were trying to set up position. We dealt a good chunk of damage. But I think the big murder ball that unfolded in the in the center there, um, it was in our enemy's favor. It was just that. We got two killing blows though. We got three assists, 848 damage down with 352 taken, six components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today, everybody. That was the Stormcrow with LRMs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.